Cody McCarthy, our middle linebacker. He's a grasshopper. He just goes like this. Grabs it, rips the head off, and then just oh eats it. God. Just eats the grasshopper. <laughs> he was trying to intimidate the other team, but we were the only ones there, so he just scared me. I played left guard at Eastern pretty much my whole career. Um, my senior year, I kind of moved around a little bit, but mainly left guard. The thing is that there's only one position that's less admirable than left guard, and that's right guard. If you're left guard, at least you can kind of say, like, I'm on the blind side a little bit. But if you're, if you're right guard, dude, oh, gosh. <laughs> That sucks. <laughs> At 6'3", 300 pounds, Aaron Neary has the build and body of a typical offensive lineman. But the former Falcon has the personality and confidence of a top flight wide receiver. You guys need a new corner? Because I got you. I've been working out at APX for a while. I'm pretty fast. I can jump really high. I'm really flexible now. You have to take pride in your work. You're not catching touchdowns. You're not running the ball. You're not even making tackles. Your, your job is to block never get told good job, never get any kind of compliment or anything like that. But if you mess up, it, it's, it's your head. It's that kind of attitude that his coaches in Cheney helped him master during his five year career at Eastern Washington. But it was first taught during his time in the Tri-Cities. Neary transferred to Hanford High School from Wallook during his sophomore year. And it was there where then head football coach Rob Oram helped Aaron find his potential. You know, he really wants to compete, get after it, perform at his highest level, whether it be in the classroom, in the weight room, or on the field. He really took an interest in just me as a person. He's the reason why I ended up getting a scholarship to Eastern. He's the reason that he's elevated himself to this level. You know, it takes a village, but ultimately, uh, I believe he's responsible for all his success. Falcon strong, baby. But not everyone along the way was as supportive as Coach Oram during his high school career. Someone said something, have fun getting your butt kicked in Tri-Cities, man. There's bigger kids, better athletes. So I just ride on my mirror, right? I was looking at it every morning. And since then, all Aaron has done is put together a football resume worthy of getting a look to be drafted in the National Football League. This past year, he was named to the Big Sky All-Conference First Team, named to the AP FCS All-American Second Team, as well as getting an invite to play at the NFLPA game in Carson, California. I hate paying attention to accolades, but it, it's what you do. You'll look and you'll see the, everyone who, oh, this guy got, you know, is a little bit higher than you, just right on my mirror. You're going through, well, success at Hanford, I'll, I'll mark him off. Training for the NFL, I'll mark it off. Next year, my senior year, I beat that guy out or mark it off. <laughs> For the last three months, Aaron has been working toward his NFL dream, training at APX in Spokane with some of his former teammates and fellow NFL draft hopefuls. So two angle left, two angle right. I think the biggest adjustment you see, especially with Aaron, was his mental approach. He is, I think, is more mentally stronger and tougher for these type of workouts. Uh, the psychological aspect of this is just uh, really, really tough for these guys to adjust to. Dude, what country do they play the GOAT game where they're like, you know what I'm talking about? GOAT game? Washington? <laughs> Come in, do what I love. I get to be with, you know, my best friends. I've met so many people here and I get to come in, do this. This is what I know. This is what I love. At this point in the process, Aaron is projected to be a day three pick or a priority undrafted free agent. During his pro day, Neary impressed scouts showing his versatility as a guard and center. For him, it doesn't matter how it shakes out as long as he gets that opportunity, which he says that's all he needs. Nothing, 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 nothing can, is going to trump your work ethic. Nothing is going to outdo work ethic. Nothing's going to out, outdo your physicality. Those are things that really can't be coached. I'm right there. And you just got to keep that as motivation. You got to understand that, dude, this indecisiveness, not very many people experience that. It's cool. That's a cool thing.